this zone OS um, definitely does not go as far as this uh, get freaky zone, but it has a harder fade, which can be very useful. But this um, get freaky zone, it's a lot straighter. And it has a nice, uh, it just sticks when it finishes. So that's that's why I like to bag both. Uh, I've been bagging the zone for a little over a year now, uh, and use it for pretty much all of my overstable upshot. Uh, and a lot off the tee actually, uh, just because it's that reliable over stability. This thing doesn't even compare. You know, I'm throwing my zone to 250, 260, and I, I don't even think I got this over 200. And so, uh, incredibly overstable, really good for probably those touch forehands in the woods, or just big spike hyzer. Uh, definitely, if I get the chance, I'll bag one. Well, I've been throwing a, a mixed bag pretty much the entire time I played disc golf. Um, I really like uh, the Crystal Flex Zone that's in my bag. I've thrown this in the video. Uh, I don't throw it on backhand a lot. I mostly use forehand. I like it for, uh, for shaping up shots. Uh, I recently added the uh, Ricky Moonshine Harp to my bag. Uh, I liked it. It was a little bit more overstable. And so uh, this is even more overstable, you can see from the video. I like the way that you're able to shape shots with it. Uh, I think especially wooded holes, uh, being able to have a reliable finish at the end. So yeah, it's a great disc.